I didn't say it properly, eh? If you if you come, 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 why I say, why I say, why? On record, no. On the move. Hey, so you, eh? Oh, 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 we're joined in the studio by the sensational award-winning singer, writer, producer, musician, Martin King Atta, known as Kofi King Atta. Yes, sir. Or Kondo. Or the movie. Masa, so you, uh, mm-hmm. have you just decided that because you are talented, and <laughs> we all know that you are talented, and you know that we know that you are talented, so <laughs> out of the blue, then you drop something with a reggae vibe uh one to them but <laughs> i don't call me when i've decided not to be i mean confined or restricted mm-hmm. uh, i just i just want to let it flow uh, it's music music is more than you see mm. uh, in you mean you know uh, or move uh, yeah music you know, <laughs> I, I can't even explain no, it's, it's something spiritual something yeah some of us and you feel the young purpose in it yeah, it's mm-hmm. you know, when you see us doing something different or not following the crowd, we, we know what we are doing, we know the vision, and we know what it is. You, you make some very profound statements mm-hmm. by that because, um, you know, when you listen to If You Come Love, like, okay, yeah, it's reggae, we've heard reggae songs done, <laughs> but it's evidently not an experiment. And for a single, I must be honest, the first time I heard it, I was like, this, this is a hit. And it's not because I like your work. Mm-hmm. I do, but I we are the end come out. You know, it's, it's, it's easy to say. And, and I was just telling, you know, Renny off air uh, that maybe we should just play the song nonstop for like 30 minutes. And then at the end, then you just say bye bye to the <laughs> audience. <laughs> because, and you're going to hear that. Yeah, but what was the inspiration and, and at what point did you <laughs> feel that okay what came first was it the melody what how did you decide it was going to be on a dub mm, i don't even know what came first <laughs> but for all i know i think uh, lydia forson okay lydia forson tweeted something about uh, they needed someone to talk about how fancy women can combine education and the kitchen uh, staffs and uh, like a Obama vibe, you know? mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. there's somebody to do a song like that for fancy women, and all of a sudden everybody was mentioning Kofi Kinata, Kofi Kinata. Now, <laughs> this is 2018, 2019. Oh, yeah, Kofi Kinata, Kofi. So I saw it and I ignored it, but unconsciously, no, like I don't know. The, the spirit was yeah. Moving. So I decided to do it. Bibini Bessia because mm-hmm. uh, yeah, fancy woman or uh, obey no obey limits no. Mm-hmm. So, no. I decided to do it Bibini Bessia. I needed something soft, something lovely. You know? Yeah. Until I'm call for reggae vibe, you know, either uh, lovers rock style be. Mm-hmm. Now, nah. when you are no for us, we feel that they've been, I mean, they've been sidelined. it was first played digitally, like yeah. But I decided to play it live because it was reggae, and you know, reggae music is is known for the live vibe. It comes alive when you play it live. Yes. So uh, that was what happened. So I had it there for a while, <laughs> but it was digital. Mm. Yeah. But I I I I like the the title of the song. Yeah, um, and I know. I mean, you were born and raised in Ifiakuma, but tell us what is it about Ifiakuma? Because you know, for those people who've never been to Takaradi, yeah. uh, probably even some of your audience around the world who've never been to Ghana, I'm sure they know Ifiakuma more than they know Accra. But what about Ifiakuma? What's so special about it? Oh, that's the only place I've known, and I am. Who I am because of Ifiokuma. I was brought up there. 
there wasn't anything like the the B vibes. You will see everything some. <laughs> you see everything some from the zongos to the compounds to the estates everything is there some right so probably that's where i carried most of my vibes okay uh, you, you know okay this people are okay this people are middle class these people don't have anything to eat at all these people don't even want to dance they just want to listen to something that will comfort them so if you were in there or a part part mm. when they there will be out now some place being good you know or feel the area you know I'm not going to say that I'm because baby and am farming. But mm -hmm. me coming from a few people, I'm very yeah, lucky. I was fortunate to see like types of life for one life or where live. But when they know, you know, you know, you know, one task I'm like, I'm not saying that I'm not here. When you listen to my songs, there are varieties. This time around, I want people to dance. This time around, I want people to be sober. This time around, I want people to, you know, reflect on whatever they are doing. Into, so everybody gets yeah, a, a, into, a, a, a something to if you want to contribute a lot to maybe be yeah, me we have to take a trip to if you because um I, I mean first of all where is if you come in takradi if you come in takradi but where where in takradi takradi um chem home from uh, from the roundabout so okay, if so i arrive from at crowd, from if i arrive at the roundabout in Takradi, the first roundabout, roundabout. When, when not when the market roundabout. Is that one the market no, roundabout? The one by Happy uh, Fuku Oh really? Yeah, uh, from let's say from Accra to Takradi, mm -hmm. you get to Fukuma before you you enter. Hmm. Oh, if you come to Takradi, so just after Shama. Oh no no, Shama, Shama Fijai. Uh huh. You so after Fijai. Okay. Then if you come number nine, then. You come from Fijai after Fijai Efian, then mm -hmm. if you come out, then wow, um, okay, that's interesting. From if you come to Takra, I buy 50 pesos. Calm, you know, but uh, your your music is laden with great dexterity. I mean, evidently, you showed that in the in the in the if you come love song. Uh, and this is supposed to be part of uh, an extended playlist, and yeah, yeah. How far are we with that? No, 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 <laughs> um, you know, if you come, my love is out, and the video is it, the out. video is out as a yeah. song that we like very much. Um, I kind of like what you did with the song. I mean, there were I noticed that you were constantly posting people dancing and you know just basically vibing to the yeah, song. Yeah. How important was that as part of 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 the release of the song? Yeah, it's, it's part of the promo. Uh, sometimes. It just come. People love their song. They will. They will be sending you the, the, their videos and stuff in their inbox. And I feel like it's it's another. It's a source of promo for them to when you put them on 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 your wall. You have mm -hmm. a lot of numbers. People will see them and they also love that. So it goes hand in hand. They will sing the song because they are happy. They they love their song. Then I will post it as a form of promo. And at the same time, also at as I work in at an award, and also feel the vibe. You know. Mm -hmm. Uh, this time around, put them the promo. No, that must style now more. Uh, people had to do something with the song, and you post them on Twitter, you post them on uh, TikTok, and all the socials. Mm -hmm. I saw it, but the only problem is, now, you know me, I can't dance to save my life, so I, there was no way I was gonna make it there. Oh, but, I, I think oh, you should do your special, your own special. <laughs> my own special. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. I think it'll fly. Uh, you know what? Yeah. I I have a lot of respect for. You, you don't have to be dance. You can sit down and sing the song. Yeah. You can even vibe to the song. A lot of people they didn't dance. They were uh. vibing to the song. Some were cooking because of <laughs> the for for yakets. Uh -huh. How did you come? I mean, so uh, let's let's try and understand your writing process. And I know a lot of what you do is based on inspiration. But to have won the songwriter of the year three years in a row and to keep writing the way you write, I mean, I have a feeling that there's gonna come a time you've won it five four times. Four straight. It was three in a row. Then I think two, two and then two. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. No, be betrayal, move, fin, fin, baby. What was it? Was it? Was it? Aquabada? 
It was somebody. Uh, anyway. Second promise. Second promise. Oh, yeah, Okay. Okay. Ah, yeah. okay. But but four times. I mean, it's just evident. Mm -hmm. You write well. What is the process? How do you, you know, in arranging jollof chicken, fante fante, chifa <laughs> fry? I'm there. <laughs> me, me, um, if them me observe fine. Now, some a reporter, I can meet him. My observer, they know my my more direct. Translation and the meeting, my custom that describe I did be paper pell me when I'm not the man I'm here. Like, may mm. I exaggerate? I'm so me, you if you move away and put on my describe no okay. more details at us. Until you be a male good story writer and a script writer. Mm. Now, nah, music and also unlike stories and music, right? Bear three minutes, three minutes, 30 seconds. So you have to you have to summarize everything. Yes, let's the pick a pick. You qualify, you unqualify. BBI, everything, some kind of crown, you chief, one other nice to nice one. <laughs> and you have to know your audience, I mean, your listeners. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, over the years, um, you've done a lot of work. How did you feel that the reggae vibe to If You Come on Love was going to work? Uh, they're, they're going to work side of the day. I don't even think about that. Okay. Yeah. This is what I do. Maybe I'm a painter. Um, this is the inspiration. I'm, I'm, I'm having an inspiration and I want to do it. I mm -hmm. just paint it. Whatever you say there, I'm sure that you can tell me that I'm going to be creative in your PM. So, if you come along, it was my birthday, and some of my people were advising me, you need to release some dance tunes, something powerful. I said, okay, I want to release this one. Mm -hmm. They can dance with it. It's my birthday. It's not their birthday. So, they can dance with it. It's my birthday. It's not their birthday. So, they can dance with it. It's my birthday. It's not their birthday. So, <laughs> <laughs> and more shock me in the day if you come love no or you reggae on shut down in the in your mob or your pick a fast name or your dance a boot tunes at the best of the best of the but you know or your odd on a reggae recently so trend in reggae songs to be on your back of a board that can reggae no one hour or far but no sooner than me baby or only a miracle yeah it's you know what we say now you're about far non for the name is taking my upper home the earlier than I feel the limit creativity, you know. I don't know, but we basically confirm that our home can get anyone. I don't know, or bar, man, 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 we say Rasta for what we mean. Yeah. Maybe I would fall from a Rasta for so one pair. Now I want to talk about what I fall on. Atasa. Yeah. So at least the work pleases as many different groups as yeah. possible. Yeah. Um, you've you've done quite a lot of different um, styles. Um, you know, you you've done. I think every day is a is a is a zook, uh, sukus, you know, mm -hmm. uh, francophone feel yeah. to it that did well. You've done your Afro pop, Afro beat, high life, and now some reggae. In terms of um, the evolution of your music, you said earlier that the Ifiakuma Love was originally recorded with you know synthesis and and yeah. and, and computer yeah. uh, programming. But you decided to play it live. Yeah. What is the difference between the output you had before and this one? You know, uh, reggae music and originally reggae music is, is live music. Yeah, so I didn't want to take the, the originality from it. So I decided to make it live because it, it was reggae music. Uh, that was the main reason why I played it live. And looking at the francophone one too, you know those people also play live stuff yeah. every day. They, they are playing with the guitars and stuff like that. So I didn't want to take that out too. So I added it. But aside that, you know, in Jumbe Fide, this a day guitar. I'm an Just the after that, you know, about live guitars, be another live keyboards if necessary. Yeah. So on your them, I'm gonna try them. I don't play the guitar stuff. On any any era, I hands on any yellow bosses. But sometimes I should jump over. Okay, yeah, yeah. My own quality was at the beginning. I found to a 
o shi nto ebe lo bi afa eh eh na mlo ayi it's interesting um wo uh, ayi um your rec- you've done quite a number of stuff live yeah um and your shows are live yeah most um, of them most yeah mostly i mean any of your shows i've seen uh, have all been live and um but the 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 thing about live music you know a lot of people complain oh artists oh I'm into me more live they can't do this mm-hmm. why is it important that you work on the live aspect of your performance being able to perform to a live band i think you should you should be able to as an artist you should mm-hmm. be able to um live music in angola so is expensive uh, to put out those stuffs is very expensive and Ele ya sa na aye no better precon if adikitikiti be goes wrong pe show ni nyina be some way mm-hmm. when will it say no so most of them don't have that knowledge you know they might blame the artist oh i did be obey your word and performance but no nya o you know most of my colleagues you know, to avoid all those things you know dj mo bon on tone nyum no ko because on pe dey obey mistake e bo hwe na dem star no fi here no i did be we share your one kwe na cheap Never be your cafe because you know, show Nanka Sana budget in the soil over for Fadi be a little two point and so on. Mike Lee, day, no lady, mm-hmm. but uh, my men and Mike do more and do more. I'll perform mm-hmm. at our sense, you know. Sometimes, you know, on your hand, conform, Kofusu do obey mistakes, Kofusu do be take risk, but in the Yaba and Yaba, and you do more stage away do. I know Christmas is far away, but um. I'll still talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> you know where I'm going with it. Oh, I go fast for my home. I go fast for my home. I have to. I have to because I mean, last Christmas we didn't have this. Uh, this Christmas, I mean, I'm following you around, Accra and Takradi. Takradi, Oba Bado. Oba Bado, no promise on this. This time. I don't mokosh a ground, sir. Yeah, mokosh a ground. So okay, you in your venue, you in your venue, but alternative to then at us, then you you who you're not doing. Since I'm kekele, I'm a bad guy. As far as you're concerned, you're ready, but you need a venue yeah, that yeah, would be in your venue. You're not ready to me. Okay, this time around, we all be moving to this side of mm-hmm. uh, because change. You know, you're doing. Yeah, you be aye, you're hand, aye, you're ha. Moko fusu wa chala wa mukaka. Will be free show numpono. I'm just, you know, in awe of uh, this description that, that Kofi Kanata, you've given us of, of your music. And, and I mean, you really are an artist. Uh, you're confident from where you're writing from. You, you, you're talking about expressing the spirit of the people that you grew out from in Ifikuma. You're not trying to do anything else. Even, I mean, I'm fascinated as somebody who is not anybody who can do anything than a few phrases in Fante Awa Mixe Mixe. You know, the kind of Fante that you use in your songs, the way you speak, it's completely natural, it completely flows, but you have a kind of fluency in it that you don't hear many other Ghanaian artists being able to do in their own language, a few exceptions like Sarkodie and his, his flow with tree and rap or We All and her confident, confidence in Sisala. But where, where, do you, where did you kind of get that language from? <laughs> Is it just from the thing of you say, like being in, in Ifukuma and just observing people intently, listening intently, and then kind of coming up with something that just works, so it just kind of comes like that? How do you do it? Mm-hmm. As I said earlier on, um, taking a risk is, is part of being an artist. Uh, a lot of people will not want to sing in a, a local mm-hmm. language or use a local dialect because they feel like it, it, would, it wouldn't go far. It, it's not international, stuff like that. But as I said, some of us, Ours is like a calling, so we're representing something. We we are standing for something. So 
that's it. We're standing for if you come out, we're standing for Takradi, we are standing for Ghana. So, yeah. And one, one of your biggest fans I know is my sister in law, who is a woman in her 60s who loves you to bits and I think has even had you doing like a special small gig for oh, her really? in Takradi in the oh, past. Okay. She's a proper, proper Takradi girl. Um, but there is a lot of pressure on Ghanaian artists, particularly at the moment. The whole discussion around the VGMAs that we've just had is about the thing about why aren't Ghanaian artists breaking onto the international stage? Why aren't they being more? ambitious like the Nigerians you know look at Burna Boy posing at the Met Gala uh, you feel none of those pressures you're happy with knowing that what you do matches the people you want to speak to right yeah I think it's it's one step after the other yeah, you shouldn't be rushed you, you don't need anybody to I mean force you to do whatever you f you're not comfortable with. I, I, I'm not saying you should relax or be comfortable. Mm. I mean, as I said earlier, on taking risk. But uh, they are Nigerians, we are Ghanaians. We, we are different. You see, we are different. So uh, I don't feel like comparing ourselves to them is, is a good idea. Mm. They, they, they are running their own race and I think we should move at our own pace. Yeah. So uh, you don't have ambitions, even for example, to go to Nigeria and spread the word about the man Kenata there. Yeah, we do. We do. You know, songs travel. Songs go to places that you haven't even been there. Mm -hmm. uh, recently, I featured uh, Pato Rankin, mm -hmm. yeah, a Nigerian. So uh, when 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 we look at my my streams, I have a lot of streams from Nigeria too. Some of my songs, I don't do fancy, fancy like that. Some, sometimes you put in some one or two PG, especially the hooks, so that people can sing along. But I don't think it's the language. Uh, we need investment. Right. Yeah, investment is, is the problem. We need investment. And we need to change our our mentality or our attitude towards our own artists. Mm -hmm. you see, yeah, you, you have to love your own. Yeah. That's why I always, you know, I always mention people from Ifukuma. You when, know, when you go to a film with Jay Z, mm -hmm. they will compare me to Jay Z. <laughs> yes, I, I totally agree with you. Yes, uh, you know, you make a fantastic point, which would be re echoed a little later in that interview uh, I had with Inkiru uh, Balon of uh, the Africa's um, you know soft power project. Um, the power of the arts is something that we probably haven't harnessed enough, mm -hmm. um, and um, as you mentioned, I mean, if if Jay Z moves. There's an entourage <laughs> of 20 people moving with him. <laughs> you will know somebody is in the space. And I think it all starts from where we place you. You know, the, the, it's good that we love the work you do and we love you, but uh, we have to start paying more money. Yeah, the we have to make you ambassadors of wealth. Mm, mm. Somebody said this, there's nothing special unless you believe it's special. <laughs> some of the things and some of the... I know I'm, I'm not trying to downgrade any artists, mm -hmm. but some of the things we listen to, and even the Ghanaian art are doing better than yeah. most of what our yeah. people are dying to see and mm -hmm. dying to listen to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's all packaging and branding. Mm -hmm. And yes, you just have to love your own. Mm -hmm. If you don't do that, but you talked about the investment that's needed a use from what you're saying there suggesting that it's mainly about the packaging the presentation and less about recording facilities yes or or investment in live music is there enough investment there investment whatever the investment investment in everywhere yeah, it should be taken as a, a business mm -hmm. not some kind of when when you feel like you want to listen to something you listen no when you go to other places they have a huge budget for for entertainment especially music mm -hmm. some conscious effort deliberate efforts to effort to push certain things some certain agenda all men who they in all call by force by agenda by, <laughs> yeah and uh, when you feel like oh everything is okay it will move by itself no now now it doesn't work like that now people are you know coming up with agendas people are deliberately pushing some 
some things. So uh, that's the, what we need to do. The, the Nigerians notably have done that with, with organizations like Chocolate City, you know, somebody who's a serious money man, a financier, putting his money behind finding the artists, doing the R&D, the, the, the development of the artists, the investment in the recording, building them, nurturing them, putting the music out there. And in Ghana in the past, we have seen, you know, notably in the 1970s, it took a Lebanese man, uh, you Faisal know, Helwani. Faisal Helwani to try peace. and take Ghanaian music seriously as a live thing, as bringing other African musicians to collaborate with them and putting the music out there and putting it out to high production quality. Um, do you do you sense that because of the, the wonderful stuff that's coming out with artists like yourself, the way the genres are, you know, we have people doing stuff in all sorts of areas in all kinds of ways, some really bold in your in your face stuff, some really traditional stuff, even from younger people. Is is there kind of like a sense like you feel Ghana's on the verge of another kind of big cultural breakthrough where somebody comes along who's going to take it seriously and really going to invest their life in it almost mm-hmm. that's that's what we're hoping for mm-hmm. uh, that's what we're hoping for and it, it will happen you know every generation and, and the kind of changes that happen so we, we're praying for this this our generation yeah i feel like we we should just we shouldn't talk just talk talk we should walk the talk mm. and yeah and it all comes down to the the general public or the citizens we should we should be patriotic enough when somebody comes and invests whatever and there's a show production everything on point and people don't come it, w- it wouldn't be encouraging mm. i don't think the person would like to repeat that mm. yeah so we, we we just have to at us we just have to show up if you have to pay pay mm. share our artists mm. listen to the songs and you know that's what we have. In fact, forecasting was a word I you know, no one and I at us. So sometimes we should be a little bit selfish. Or sing an alarm con 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 selfish on your selfish in that manner, but yeah, cherish put that's why they be right there. Why the Nadi be a bear no one more born an uncle, they be intimate at us. Yeah, so move there the grip on on you enough, but. Gradually, you know, it was better than before. Mm. Things are changing, so we are hoping for the best. Mm. I totally agree with you, and uh, we have to embrace our own very, very much. Uh, Kofi, it's been awesome talking to you. I, I, I enjoy our conversations. Sometimes I feel like I forget that we're actually doing this with the audience in mind. <laughs> you know? I, I, I totally forget. So, yeah. um, but uh, thank you it's so much. Fun. Um, I, I, I was just about to wish somebody a happy birthday, but a common friend of ours, oh. us in the way to 45, and to you, <laughs> us in Yemi, us in Yemi, <laughs> us in Wo, wishing a happy birthday. What's your favorite little bread? Deborah. Deborah is 45 oh. today. <laughs> 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 Are you sure? Mm. Are you sure of 45? They're not okay. Hey. 38. Me who need Ghana card? 38. 38. Okay. <laughs> Uh, and we oh, should have fun take a cross. So no happy birthday, but we should have fun. Okay. Okay, it's in a happy birthday to you, Deborah. Yami show and yami your case. Aye. Amen. Amen. Well, thanks very much for coming through.